Welcome back to another episode of VTTV. Today we have a real treat for you. We have the Vision Tech VT4500 dual display dock with power delivery. This dock does up to 60 watts of power delivery over USB-C to compatible devices. It also has HDMI out, dual HDMI out, dual display port out, gigabit ethernet out, as well as USB-C and USB 3.0 ports. It also does audio in and out for external speakers, microphones, all things that you need for that. All right, so let's get into this guy here. We'll open this up and see what we have. It'll give you a pretty nice box here. It has magnetic closures on it which I don't think that really matters, but you know, to each their own. Here's the docking station itself. Here's the front. You have two USB 3.0 ports in the front, two USB-C ports, a power light. We have a headphone jack or a headset jack and a microphone input. On the side here, we have a Kensington lock slot. On the back, we have DC in this is DC power into the docking station itself, a gigabit ethernet port, the first set of display outputs it includes an HDMI and a display port, the second set of display port outputs, and this includes HDMI and display port again, a USB 3.0, USB 3.0, and this is the host USB-C connection to the laptop. Another real cool feature that I noticed on this dock that most other docks don't have is a hard power button or power switch. Now this will allow you to turn off the actual power going to the dock in cases where you need to reset the docking station or reset it so that it uh, will redetect their uh, connected displays. On this side, there's nothing. On the bottom, we have basic uh, product labels. Put this guy to the side. Underneath the foam, we have a CD with software, display link software, a quick start manual. We also have a USB to USB-C cable, a USB-C to USB-C cable, and the power brick for the docking station. This docking station does support either the USB-C to C connection or the USB-C to USB connection with older laptops, but please keep in mind that this cable, the USB-C to USB connection, will not charge your laptop. It'll only provide docking station capabilities. All right, let's get these open so we can go ahead and get this set up. We're gonna set this one aside for now since our laptop that we're using for this demonstration has a USB-C port as well as it supports power distribution. So put that guy to the side. Get this open here. That's a standard USB-C cable. It's about four feet in length. So they give you a good amount of cord. Go ahead and open this up. docking station you'll want to make sure you pull off the protective plastic. These do sometimes get warm and you don't want them to have a bad time with overheating. Go ahead and plug the power cord, power brick, into the docking station there. Plug this into here, it's the three prong cord. And on the back, we have our first monitor via HDMI. Plug that in there. Our second monitor, HDMI. Plug that in there. This docking station will do HDMI or DisplayPort simultaneously. Just for this demonstration, we only have these HDMI monitors. All right. 
Next step, go ahead and connect our host USB-C cable right here. Set our docking station there. Grab our laptop. Plug in our cord right over here. And it would probably be a bit helpful if I plugged in the power to the docking station. I'll be right back. Right, and I'm back. We have our docking station plugged into power, and we have the laptop plugged into the docking station via USB-C. Next step, we'll go ahead and turn on the power to the docking station back here with the hard power switch. After you turn on the power to the docking station, you'll get a blue light in the front telling you that it has power. To go ahead, open up our laptop, Verify that it is charging. As you can see down here, the little battery indicator says that we are charging currently. And that quick flash you just saw of the screen, the uh, docking station already installed the drivers for the display link, and it's already mirroring the display for us. Let's get logged in, and we'll go ahead and get the third monitor set up. I'll show you. did it for me. What can I tell you? So from here, we'll go ahead, since it's set for duplication, go into display settings, turn off the duplication, have it extended. At this point, everything's all set up the way that we need it. You can use both monitors, with no issue and that's that uh, under 20 minutes to get this uh, docking station up and running and ready to uh, start work